extrusion drawing. Let's go sketch. Okay. One, I'll show you the drawing just now. There we go. I'm busy with this part, yeah? If you draw this side, you're going to have to double extrude. And there's a lot of lines there. It can cause confusion and you can uh, make mistakes by doing this one on this side. It's a little bit more difficult. But when I look at this one, I know I'm going to have to extrude this part. I'm going to have to extrude this part. That's the second one. And that one is the same. That's the third part. And that's the fourth one, which is that round part. The round part is to be extruded forward from there. We first gonna extrude this thickness. And then that round part here, we're gonna go out from there to there, and then we extrude backwards. And then we extrude forward with the block, which will be that block uh, triangle there, and then I will just draw and cut through there. And then I'll extrude this part out, whichever one I'll do first when I, I'm busy drawing. Let's look at this, okay, the size there, eh? We got 50 and 75. There we go, I just want it flat. Okay, that's what we have so far. There we have 50 and 75. And uh, I've got about three rectangles there. Rectangle number one. I'm going to size the rectangle which is 192, 192 by 115, but uh, we've got the height there, which is 15. 115 is the extrusion distance, and it's 15. And now I'm going to draw a line to the center to be able to get the rectangle exactly in the center. There's the line. I'm going to go to constraints coincident I want this line to connect with the center point there and that's exactly in the center okay and I also know that the distance between between that point and that line is 60 it's 50 let's make that 60 Okay, that's the distance. And now I'm going to draw another two rectangles. Uh, one, that's the first one. And then this is the second one. Which is the same. You can call it one and the same. It's two rectangles, basically, which is it's just duplicated. Now let's dimension these. The distance from here to that point is 120. 120, enter. Uh, we also have a distance from there to there, which is 150. And we have 15 per piece here. 15 and 15. Okay, there's our drawing, and now I'm going to extrude. Let's go back and just check. There's our drawing there. I'm, let's say we're going to extrude this round cylinder first. I need to go forward not only by 39, but also by 15, because this flat sketch is going to be extruded from there. That's what's going to happen. I'm, I'm going to extrude from here. So I'm going to go 15 plus 39, which will give you 49, 54. And then I need to extrude backwards by 15. If we extrude, clicking on there, okay, I'm going to go, I think let's, let's rotate this. Yeah, that's better in the direction. So I'm going to go forward 54, like I've said, and say, okay. Let's share the sketch, left click on the plus sign there on the browser bar, right click. Uh, let's just finish the sketch, sometimes it just chooses the sketch here. Escape out of that function, right click, share. If we extrude, I need to now go backward 
by as you can see here I made this point here that's where I'm extruding from by 15 so I'm going to type in 15 here and okay that's done if we extrude again and I'm going to use this whole of this rectangle there and I'm just going to go forward by let's see what's the thickness for that rectangle it's 15 you can see there that's the height and that's the height there so the thickness if you go straight across it is 15 millimeters we've put it in there and the next extrusion we're going to do is this part at the bottom which needs to go forward for not 115 it needs to go from this point that way so uh, that still needs to be determined because we need to come backward by 30 oh yes we got 30 minus 115 will give you 85 in the forward direction and then come back by 30 so 85 forward and 30 backwards let's say okay for that let's say if we extrude we need to go forward by 85 okay and we need to get back by 30 if we extrude we need to go backwards by 30 you can of course do everything at once if you want to let me show you undo undo if we extrude you can click on symmetrical right no no not that one sorry this one asymmetric and then you'll have two distances coming up clicking on there <clears throat> this is where we're going to type in our our uh, 85 you can see it will move forward and then we need to go back by 30 on this side three zero and we say okay if we extrude again and i'm selecting my sides one and two i need to add i want to add some material and let me just see how far does it need to go out here it needs to stop right there at that point so we're having 30 we have 85 from there to there and here we have 75 so that is 10 millimeters so we're going to extrude from there to that point 75 millimeters so i'm typing in 75 but I need to add material, not take away. That's for taking away material, cutting material. This is adding material. So I'm going to say OK. So what am I going to do now? I can either go and go sketch on my side. Sketch there. And then draw a line. Let's just see. There's the line from there to the bottom. Let's make it a complete triangle so that we can extrude it out. And let's say escape E for extrude. Click on there. We're going in that direction. Be careful not to go too far to cut into that uh, portion there. Let's say 15 will be fine. And say OK. Or we can go to modify. We can go to chamfer. We need the chamfer to have two distances this is d and d if you can see this it's the same distance d and d and there we have d1 and d2 so i'm going to choose that one and we have two distances okay now these distances let's go see what they should be click on there we got one distance from this point that way is 60 and we've got one distance from this point upwards there we have 15 and we've got 120 so if this part is 15 the upward distance is 105 so it's 105 by 60 i'm typing in you can swap it around if it does not look proper 105 by 16 sorry 60 and i'm going to click on the corner right and i'm going to say apply okay let's swap it around it doesn't want to work 
oh that was 160 let's try again clicking on there beautiful there you guys can see if you made a mistake by putting 105 here and 60 there you can just change it afterwards say apply and that's done and that's that's your drawing let's save it and just call it call it a shaft bracket 